Hello and welcome to Raiji's Cruise Guide's first podcast. Through these podcasts, I hope to share a variety of different cruise tips and information with you. Raiji's Cruise Guide is an online cruise blog and guide that shares cruise tips, news, photos, and so many more things related to cruising. You can visit Raiji's Cruise Guide at www.embarkinaway.com. Each podcast we share will have a different featured topic, a highlighted ship of the podcast, a cruise trivia question, and some cruise questions asked by podcast listeners and website visitors like you. Today I'm going to discuss some of the worst stateroom locations you can have on board a cruise ship. But first, let's start with a cruise trivia question. It is the middle of the afternoon and I am lounging on a deck chair looking up. I see the North Star. What cruise ship am I currently sailing on? Your answer choices are the Quantum of the Seas, Disney Magic, Carnival Breeze, Norwegian Epic, or this is a trick question. I will give the answer later this podcast. When you're choosing a stateroom, keep in mind this will be your home away from home for the entire cruise. Your stateroom is meant to be a place for you to get some sleep, privacy, bathe, and store your belongings. Try to avoid areas of the ship that are mainly used during the night, especially if you are a person that likes to go to sleep early. These areas include nightclubs, discos, bars, and the casino. Some cruise ships have extra soundproofing to help keep the staterooms above and below these areas as quiet as possible, but you may not have access to this information when booking. It is better to avoid these areas than find out the hard way that you can hear noise in your stateroom. Another area to avoid is the galley. The galley is the ship's kitchen where meals are prepared for the passengers and crew on board. In the early hours of the evening, the galley will be a lively place because dinner will be served. After dinner, the galley will become less busy. There may be noise because of cleaning and preparation for any late night meals. You may hear pots and pans clattering and the crew cleaning the ship. Noise may not always come from the galley, but there is always a chance you could get some. Try to avoid staterooms by the elevator and stairwell. The elevator noise will probably not be too much of a problem, but the people that use the stairwells and elevators may be the problem. This is an area that is less likely to cause noise, but can get noisy at times when people are returning back to their cabins late at night. The featured ship for this podcast is the Carnival Dream. The Carnival Dream currently sails from New Orleans. The ship carries 4,631 cruise passengers when every guest bed is filled on board. The ship is 1,004 feet long. All of this information is according to the Carnival Dreams fact sheet on the Carnival's website. The answer to my trivia question from the beginning of this podcast is the Quantum of the Seas. The Quantum of the Seas has a feature on board called the North Star that gives cruisers an elevated 360 degree view of the ship and scenery below. Most of you are probably thinking the North Star in the sky, but that was not the right North Star. This is one of my favorite trivia questions I wrote a while back for my Royal Caribbean trivia page. For this podcast, there are no user-submitted questions. Visit my website, www.embarkinaway.com, and click on the podcast page. Again, visit www.embarkinaway.com, and up at the top you should see a page that's labeled Podcast. Go on this page and click on the form that you can submit your questions. I will read all questions and try to choose as many as possible for my future podcast. I hope you have enjoyed this podcast, and please feel free to like Raiji's Cruise Guide on Facebook. Have a great day.